Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and this is the Umbrella Entertainment Canon Classics Blu ray double feature for Death Wish 2 and Death Wish 3. Now, those of you who are familiar with my channel, you probably know that I absolutely love the Death Wish series, particularly parts 2 and 3. And even though both of those films are featured together on this one release, I want to separate the two and talk about each film individually as well as the picture and sound quality on this release the extras etc so i'm going to do this video just talking about death wish 2 as well as all the extras and the picture quality and sound quality on the blu-ray and then i'll follow that up with another video discussing death wish 3 along with all the extras on this blu-ray release the picture quality sound quality etc and now Death Wish 2 is the perfect bridge between the very serious liberal pacifist turned gun-toting one-man judge, jury, and executioner tone of the original Death Wish and the over-the-top, ultra-violent, super cheesy I Am Death on two legs. It's Bronson versus every thug in the greater New York area and Bronson kills them all. Romp. That is Death Wish 3. Death Wish 2 finds Paul Kersey played again by the legendary Charles Bronson. He's moved locations from New York to Los Angeles. He's there with his daughter who's been rendered mute by the events of the first film and his lady love soon to be fiance. Though even though he's changed locations, tragedy finds Paul Kersey when his daughter is kidnapped by a group of thugs. She is raped and eventually is killed. Which means... When murder and rape are the crimes, Bronson is the only punishment. Kersey immerses himself in the seedy L.A. nightlife and seeks out to systematically dispatch every thug who's taken from him, including a young Lawrence Fishburne. Michael Winter returns to direct Death Wish 2, but this time around he takes the violence and the brutality of the first film, which were deemed shocking by the standards of the late 70s, and ratchets them up to absolutely bewilderingly violent and brutal levels for Death Wish 2, which would be deemed shocking by the standards of, of any day. The gang rape of Kersey's uh, maid in particular is very difficult to watch. That sequence took six days to shoot. It was so brutal that at one point one of the actors participating in the scene couldn't take it anymore and threw up on the set. The actress who was playing the maid went home every night covered in bruises. Eventually, the camera crew threw their hands up and said, we are done here. We are no longer <laughs> filming this. And that's how it ended. The rape of Kersey's daughter is pretty tame by comparison, although it's still plenty sleazy as Winter takes the time to show each individual gang member's delighted reaction at watching the event unfold. Then to add insult to injury or to add injury to insult, Kersey's daughter, in an attempt to escape, throws herself out a window and is impaled upon a steel fence post below. Death Wish 2 feels like the mashup of a gritty crime film and an 80s exploitation action flick. Uh, Bronson does what Bronson does best by day. He is a ostensibly meek and mild architect. By night, he is death incarnate. The movie does a good job of juggling the two. And when the two worlds eventually do collide, you kind of feel for Kersey because his desire for vengeance eventually costs him his future plans with his fiance. The final fight between Kersey and the last remaining thug is pretty brutal. And at the end of it, you get this feeling that Kersey is really just kind of a broken man. Legendary guitarist Jimmy Page delivers a great score. And Winter adds just enough noirish kind of style to almost offset all the sleaze. Overall, I love Death Wish 2. I think it is my favorite of the Death Wish films because it is kind of a mashup between a serious, gritty crime film and an 80s exploitation, over-the-top, 
really sleazy uh, action flick. And the director's cut of the film, which is on this Blu-ray, is a lot sleazier because they had to cut a lot of these rape sequences down to establish that R rating with the MPAA. And you can definitely see why watching the unrated director's cut on this release. They, uh, they're they not easy to watch and they stick out as being kind of unnecessary and overlong and you really get the sense that Michael Winner was just a really sick guy. Still, I love this movie. I love the score. I love the style. I love the violence. I love Bronson. Uh, if you've not seen Death Wish 2, by all means, go out and check out Death Wish 2. If you've not seen the movie, this would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. The picture and the sound quality on this Blu-ray release are both really good. Now, Shout Factory released uh, the director's cut of Death Wish 2 in a standalone release uh, a year ago or so. I've got that Blu-ray. I've watched that Blu-ray. I did not compare the two Blu-rays uh, screen to screen or anything like that. Uh, to compare the picture quality and the sound quality on the two. Um, but I will say that the picture quality and sound quality on this release are both pretty good. As far as extras are concerned, on disc one, we get Death Wish 2, the unrated director's cut. We get the Death Wish 2 theatrical trailer and two TV spots. We also get cast and crew interviews that were conducted for the Electric Boogaloo documentary regarding Death Wish 2, which includes screenwriter David Engelback, actress Robin Sherwood, and Todd Roberts, son of producer Bobby Roberts. Um, all told, it's over an hour and 14 minutes from those interviews all about Death Wish 2. On disc two, we get the theatrical cut of the film, the television cut of the film, and the Greek VHS cut of Death Wish 2, which includes notes by Paul Talbot, author of the book Bronson's Loose, The Making of the Death Wish Films. The Greek VHS cut contains approximately three minutes of footage not found in any other cut of Death Wish 2, consisting mostly of dialogue. Uh, the Greek VHS cut that is on this release is very rough. It was clearly sourced directly from that VHS release. And as much of a fan as I am of Death Wish 2, I found it very difficult to sit through this. Um, I watched about 15 or 20 minutes and I had to turn it off because quite frankly, it was just it was giving me a headache. The quality, picture quality, as well as the sound quality are really bad on the Greek VHS cut of Death Wish 2. This is a very nice release from the fine folks over at Umbrella Entertainment for Death Wish 2. The fact that we get so many different cuts of Death Wish 2 on this release is a pretty cool. We have over an hour and 14 minutes of interviews with people about the making of Death Wish 2. The picture quality and the sound quality are both very good. This would be an excellent addition to your collection if you are a fan of Death Wish 2. If you've not seen Death Wish 2, this would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. I'll put a link to Umbrella Entertainment's website down in the description. If you've seen Death Wish 2, please let me know what you think about it down in the comments section below. I will return shortly with my review of Death Wish 3, the film, and this Blu-ray release. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, Peace. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.